Hey guys, in this video I'll be answering the age old question on should you play Claw on controller on Fortnite. You guys have been flooding my comments about if you should play Claw and I decided I'm going to make a whole video on it, what it is, why you should play, alternative options and more. With that being said, let's begin the video. First we have to talk about what is Claw to begin with. Claw is a hand placement or grip you have on your controller. Specifically having your right hand index finger on the face buttons, for example on Xbox, X, Y, A and B and for PlayStation, triangle, square, X and circle. Another way is using your left hand index finger for Xbox on the left joystick and for PlayStation on the D-pad. This hand placement is used to give you the ability to never take your hand off the joystick which would hypothetically help a lot. Now why do players use Claw? It has been an age old gaming trick used by controller players to be able to hit more buttons at a time that you wouldn't be able to normally access without taking your thumb off the joystick. Because it's believed you gain an advantage or you can match with keyboard players. It was also used as a free alternative to paddles which I'll get into later on to the video. But are these claims true? Yes, in my opinion Claw helps. I can speak from my experience and from others too that it does. In a game like Fortnite where keyboard players have a huge advantage over other inputs simply because they can click and have more buttons than others, it's helpful. And since Fortnite has so many different end game actions, it gives an advantage compared to others that are not using it. This is the reason why there are no controller pros that I know of at least that play standard grip without paddles of course and examples are re Miro and Day. Sure you can still be good with standard but it's going to be way harder and you're going to limit your potential. Claw allows you to have better movement and aim simply because you can have that thumb on that joystick at all times. You can move your in game camera to aim while jumping which is pretty awkward on standard grip because you have to lift your thumb off the joystick to press your jump button which is most likely A or X. It can also increase your edit speed or make other actions in Fortnite like taking your builds out, pickaxe and other stuff more easy. The reason why is it gives you more access to your buttons which also makes it very versatile with making your own binds. One claim against Claw that a lot of people have is that it causes long term health risk. Yes it can. The reason why is that your fingers are not meant to be held in that position because it's unnatural. Just trying to have your hands out in claw grip without holding your controller in the air and it will hurt a lot. Our index fingers were never meant to have that much pressure and force put onto it. So it can make your hands look weird and stay in an unusual stance over time. It can also strain your wrist and forearm because of that awkward position, which is the main source of these potential health risks. There are a few people that it doesn't affect much, but just know if you're playing claw, you could potentially have these happen to you. I know I just made it sound very dangerous and scary, but those problems can be solved and I'll answer that question soon in the video as well. But now, should you play Claw? It depends on your situation. If you're really motivated and really want to get better at Fortnite and don't want to spend money, then yes, it is a reliable free way to get better at Fortnite. Most people who start Claw say it's way too uncomfortable and give up within 3 days, but you have to realize it takes time to get used to, at least a week. Some people it will take a couple days to get used to or, or maybe even the same hour they try it. But for everybody, after a while it will feel as normal as it did before when you were playing on standard grip. It is worth it 100%. But if your hands really can't take it and you start having serious pain, then just let it go and stop playing claw. If this happens to you or if you just don't want to play claw, I'm going to tell you guys some alternative options that you guys can do that are pretty expensive but some of them are free as well. The number one alternative option to playing claw is going to be paddles. You can have paddles or back buttons on your controller that you click with your fingers behind the controller. This is way more expensive but it's a more reliable option. The reason why everyone doesn't play paddles is simply because of the prices. They are really expensive. The prices are crazy, but there are cheaper options like the GameStar G7e. It is around $50 and it has back buttons in its Xbox controller. Another option as well is a strike pack. What this is is an attachable controller accessory that connects to the back of your controller with paddles. It costs around $40 and it works on console and PC, but just so you know, don't use them in the wrong way because you can get cheats on it, but please do not do that. I'll leave a link to these in the description below. But another alternative option is having optimal settings for non-claw. There are many YouTube videos that you can search up on optimal settings for non-claw or standard grip. So watch those for a free alternative. But what I will say that if I were to recommend an edit button for non-claw players, it's definitely going to be left stick edit because even players who play claw still use it. So if you're not sure what edit button to use on non-claw, it's going to be that one. Now how can you play claw more safely? There are many ways but the main way is to do hand and finger stretches. Just by simply stretching your hands and fingers before and after playing claw helps a lot. It helps majorly. I promise I started doing it a couple months ago and I don't regret it. Another thing is to take breaks because if you play 4 hours or more straight your hands are going to be done for. So take a 10-30 minute break in between to give your fingers a rest because that's what they deserve. Another way is controller accessories like grips slash control freaks. This can make you play better and hands more comfortable at the same time. These can cost from $5 to $20, so it's pretty cheap. I'll leave a link to them in the description as well if you would like to buy one. 
that's it for the video guys this is a really short one but uh i really hope it helped you make a decision whether or not you want to play claw and or if you want to try something new and if you guys have any suggestions or any questions about something i missed in the video then leave it down in the comment section or any anything else that you need help in fortnite with because i'm going to be your guy and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one